Okay. Let's continue on. I'll basically restart. Let's see if we could actually get to the town this time. You know there's a wolf there. Um I rechecked the damage formula issue, wondering if attributes affect it. Uh, I sort of I think I had a solid grasp on how it worked in Gothic 1. Gothic 2 seems to be, well, somewhat different. Anyway, how it works in Gothic 2 is, uh, it's sort of odd. For ranged weapons like bows and crossbows, Damage comes from attributes very heavily. Skill is more about chance to hit, so it's a uh, naturally a uh, great influence in damage. But the attribute is where the actual damage comes from. With the uh, melee weapons, it's a slightly different thing. Damage comes from attributes and weapons. However, really, where the damage comes from is skills. Let me explain. There's two types of hits, normal and critical. All weapon hits from range weapons are critical by nature, so there's no separate critical hits. But um, melee weapons can do normal hits and criticals, and that's where the importance in skill comes in melee weapons, because the percentage shown here, after one-handed and two-handed weapon, is the critical hit chance. Um, the formula is a bit different for both, but basically there's one major alteration. With normal hits, there's a divider of 10 in your damage, so uh, with a minimum damage of, uh, I think it was 5 or something. So what it means is that at this point we're basically doing the minimum damage most of the time. The actual damage value with the weapon and strength added and enemy armor class uh, taken away from that and then sort of divided by 10 it always becomes you even with fantastic strength attribute scores a bad weapon would still cause ba basically the five uh, probably less than 10 points of damage so it doesn't radically change how much damage is caused Ooh, critical hit on the other hand doesn't have that uh, divide by 10 there so it's the weapon strength and your character strength minus the normal enemy attributes, and that's the damage. So it's a it's a with melee weapons skill is a must. Without the skill, you're just doing so little damage that you it just won't work. With ranged weapons, you should be able to do much better damage at this point. Just get enough skill that you are hitting most of the time, and then dexterity up. It does make me think that ranged weapons would actually be incredibly powerful weapons here. But even then, I can't really combine that with spells, because that sort of uh, makes spells fairly redundant then. Yeah, that didn't go well, but at least when at least we're alive, can screw up too badly. There's a there's definitely something there. Fire. One less monster around.
I was sort of looking at the controls, I've changed them from the defaults, and I wonder what the hell does what I want it to do. Basically, I think there is a way to pick up an entire stack of items, but it's some kind of a... It's not in the default controls anymore because I've altered them, so it's on another button. I, I, be great if I find out what it is. I suppose we can test it when we do trading. Not that. It's not that. Not that. I don't know what it is. Nothing to plunder. Hey, you! Trouble? Damn. I don't know where they're all hiding. You kill one, and shortly afterwards they're all back again. Wait a moment. I know you. You're the fellow who was constantly baking arrows for me in the Valley of Mines. No, I wasn't. Your name is... Cavalorn, right? Ah, uh, I see you haven't forgotten me after all we went through in the cursed colony. Where are you heading? To the city. Well, well. To the city, eh? You may run into problems with the guards. They aren't letting just anyone in anymore, since the area here is swarming with bandits. In the past few days, one of those former psionics from the Valley of Mines came by here. He said he constantly goes in and out of Corinus. He went into the valley below the big tower. There must be a way in there somewhere near the waterfall. Maybe you should talk to the fellow. So basically go back to the goblin caves we already visited. Maybe we should. Interesting armor you're wearing. Don't you belong to the shadows anymore? Shadows? They haven't existed since the fall of the barrier. The moment we could finally leave the Valley of Mines, there was no reason for me to stick with them. Now, I work for the Water Mages. I belong to the Ring of Water. Tell me more about the Ring of Water. I'm not really allowed to talk about it. All I can do is send you to Vatras. He is the representative of the Water Mages in Corinus. The best thing would be to talk to him. Tell him you've come from me. Maybe he'll take you on as one of us. We urgently need more good people. What are the water mages doing now? They're up to something big. It has to do with an unknown region of the island. An unknown region? Where is it supposed to be? I can't tell you more. Talk to Vatras in Corinus. I think this is related to the expansion pack too. What are you doing here? I'm sitting tight. If it hadn't been for these damn bandits, I wouldn't be here. What was that about bandits? Have you slept through the last few weeks? Huh? I'm talking about all the riffraff from the penal colony that are making themselves at home here in the area. Plundering and murdering for all they're worth. I guess I'm lucky. They didn't kill me. I let down my guard for one moment, and they clubbed me from behind. No idea how I'll get all my stuff back now. You were robbed by the bandits? Yes. They beat me down and tossed me to the goblins for lunch. It was damned important stuff. 
a letter, and all my money. I absolutely have to get it back. But without someone to watch my back, I'm not going back there. That cowardly rabble. Can I help you with the bandits? Maybe. But as scrawny as you look, you surely haven't held a proper sword in your hand for weeks. Well, I don't have any choice but to take your offer. My time is running out. So, pay attention. Down this path here, you'll find one of those filthy holes in the ground that bandits like to hide in. The fellows there are the same ones who stole my stuff. Let me know when you're ready, and we'll nab the rabble. I need better equipment. Those swine haven't left me much. I can give you a wolf knife. Will that do for now? You call that a knife? But what about healing? I still have two healing potions here. Interested? Sure. Give them here. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. I'd like to at least save before doing that. Hey. Let's mix it up with those guys. Sure thing. Just keep my back clear, okay? Now they're in for a nasty surprise. Yeah, we'll see about that. You're in for it now. Ah, oh, run away. You deserve that, low life. You poor. I think I'd better take this weapon. Yeah, because I have such an excellent weapon. Okay, can I take that? Yeah, these require way too much attributes. The wolf knife defends the best weapon at the moment. Deserve that low life. Yeah, sorry about hitting you. You poor sucker. I think I'd better take this weapon. Hey! So, that's done. Ha! They shouldn't have messed with me. Then I can finally fulfill my mission. I've lost too much time already. What sort of mission? Ah, oh, yeah. First I have to get into the city, and then later... Ah, I don't know how I'm going to get all that done in time. What about me? Hmm, why not? You could take the letter into the city. Then I'll have a bit more time to take care of my equipment. One of the bandits must have the letter in his pocket. Take it to Vatras, the water mage in the city. You'll find him in the temple of Adenos. He preaches there all day. Tell him that I wasn't able to get it done. And if he asks where I am, just tell him I'm already on my way to the meeting point. Okay? Oh yeah, one more thing. First buy some decent clothes from the farmers. Otherwise, you may be taken for a bandit. Here's a couple of coins. Can you teach me something? Sure. You know that. Man, they really took a lot out of you. You can't remember anything at all, can you? I want to learn your abilities. Sure. What do you want to know? Ah. Interesting. Shit. It works differently than I thought. It's, there's no... We can. I think we can basically increase the percentage we cause critical hits with the melee weapons, and with bows we can cause the chance to basically hit in the first place. So, in order to get certain levels, I mean, sort of uh, thresholds, well, uh, we need to in get to certain percentage points levels, but I have no idea what those are. Uh, they're probably mentioned in the manual now that I think about it, I just don't recall them. Um, so we'll... 
We'll let it go for now. Nothing there. Nothing to plunder. Short bit. Yeah, could we test this girl thing now? What would it be? Yeah, that's naturally not it. Some kind of combination key without a doubt. And I think it was... What would it be? Seriously. No. Not that. Yeah, I, I don't know what it would be. I'll have to look at the default controls, see what it does basically, and then make the decision. It's very inconvenient to get stacks without it though, so I suddenly need to learn it. Got ourselves a free bed. More importantly, we got ourselves a level up. 10 learning points. 3 percentage points in one handed weapon. Why did we get that? Did we get it from killing directly? Or did he, did he teach us? Uh, yeah, I, I need to understand the skill system better. The thresholds are the important part because we know how much to invest in a skill to get what we really want. I guess we can be a little bit uninformed at this point. Our goal is to just reach the city. So far this looks to be sort of a repeat of uh, the first game. At least as far as the plot is concerned. Mother deliver a letter to a mage thing. We Requires dexterity of 20. Uh, even though these some weapons, melee weapons, require dexterity, their the damage is still strength based. Uh, I, my understanding is that they're uh, sort of a melee weapon option for people who focus on um, bows. So it would be an option, basically bows, magic, and. Yeah, we're looking at a significant strength increases. Now, one-handed talent bonus three. So the wolf knife is giving us a three percent. That's good. Uh, because I thought I might have uh, missed uh, such a huge part of the skill system as experience through just usage. Sealed message, that has to be it. Wanted note. Picture of me! Crap. Yeah, that can't be good. A message. Stop all men who come from the mountains. If someone comes along the pass, it will probably be an old man. Don't let him fool you. He's a dangerous sorcerer. Keep an eye on him. It's possible the guy we're looking for will contact him. With this letter, I'm sending you 30 pieces of gold. I will give another 30 to anyone who kills the man. Bring his head to the old mine near the landowner. Signed D. The only D I can remember is Diego. I don't see why he would want to hire killers though. Uh, 
By the way, more experience, more loot. All good. 145 gold. And he's standing here. I was a bit worried we might not be able to buy the necessary training later on. He did say one thing of, that was of interest. Behind the waterfall there was some kind of a person we could meet. I'm fairly skeptical can we survive it, does it? Because we have no armor, our weapons are shit and all that. So I don't even though we could go there, it might not be a sensible place to go. Want to see if this goes anywhere? What I'm hoping is that if there is a guy here, it's basically already cleared. So all we need to do is just brave uh, the tunnels a little bit further, and we're we're there. What do dark mushrooms even do? Hit point bonus 5. Minor healing item. We should find out soon enough if, it's the, if there are creatures here that we can't handle. Potion, potion, scroll, scroll. Fire arrows, fireballs, heal wounds, and light spells. So. I'm reluctant to use them simply because we're, if we're going to encounter anything dangerous at this point, those few spells are pretty much everything we have. Ah, yeah, that's the guy we came here to meet. Ah, nice, sir. Is that you? Really, man, am I glad to see you. I think there's a monster trying to eat me. Lester, how did you get here? That was a crazy escape. After the barrier exploded, I wandered around the area for a while in total confusion. Then I spent days fighting my way through these woods until I finally found this valley here. Diego, Milton, and Gorn are still in the Valley of Mines. At least, I think so. What do you know about the area? If you keep going down that way, you'll come to a farm. The city starts a little way beyond that, but be careful. There's not just wolves and rats hanging around here. There's goblins and bandits, too. How long have you been hiding out in this valley? I don't know exactly. A week, maybe? But there's one more thing. When I came here in the evening, I took a look up on the mountain, and there were only a few trees there. And when I looked the next morning, that tower was there. I could have sworn it wasn't there before. Since then, I haven't left the valley. You mean Zardus's tower? I knew he was powerful, but creating a tower just like that. Zardus the Necromancer? He lives in that tower? I don't know if I like that. Don't worry. He's the one who rescued me from the Sleeper's Temple. He's on our side.
What happened? After the Sleeper was defeated, the entire Brotherhood lost their minds. Without their master, they were all just empty husks. And you? What about you? It was the same for me. I had nightmares and even hallucinations. But once my head was more or less clear again, I ran for it. Once, I thought I saw a huge black shadow pounce on a group of fugitives and burn them all up in a giant cloud of fire. At that moment, I really thought a dragon had come to kill me. Did you see anything else? No. I took to my heels and ran. You need to tell Zardas about the shadow. It could be important. You don't think it was my imagination? You mean there really was a... Dragon, yes. You're getting into the thick of it again, am I right? I shouldn't say in the thick of it. Not yet. Well, good. If it's so important, then I'll go see him. But not now. For the moment, I'm going to rest. I'm still exhausted after the escape from the penal colony. I think you've got big plans. I'll see you later at Zardas's. There's another of those scummy beasts. One less monster around. What is it? Young wolf. Yeah, uh, I don't think we should be here. But it was a good to see Lester again. Out of all faces, which I suppose makes a lot of sense. We're after all in the same place, more or less. So. I prefer the road. We could have probably used this one. But wolves, all the trouble. Not something I want to stumble upon at the moment. I'm not too no I'm not in too big of a hurry to get to the basically major guild, I suppose, either. At this point, I, I think our priority should be to basically find all the trainers, get to look around, do some quests, get a couple of level ups without making any kind of choice what kind of a guild do we want to be a part of. To Corinis. Yeah, remember to buy clothes from a farmer. But I don't think I'm a bandit. Makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, come get some. Yeah, that didn't go well. The game has the option, uh, nothing to be so you can there. play with the Gothic One control system. Um, meaning that you can basically just press your attack button and use your movement keys to strike instead of using individual keys. But uh, I'm sort of reluctant to try that. I know how well it worked in the first game. But on the other hand, it mainly the problem was the bugged controls, getting stuck control all the time, less so the actual combat system itself. You have to say movement still is a lot better during fighting when there's a, you know, you, you're commanding things through separate buttons. So 
unless we have uh, great difficulties doing any kind of little fighting with this, I think I'll stick to this one. I don't want to use a healing item. I basically screwed up the fight. That's why I'm in bad condition. Just because the fight was bad. Statue of Inas. Ooh, donations, no. Like my money more than I like in house. Hey, stranger. I saw how you came out of the mountains. You can be glad you didn't come by here three weeks ago. We would have taken you for an escaped convict. And we made short work of those. You look completely done in. What do you want here? I think we're going to lie. I was attacked by bandits in the mountains. Those filthy rabble. They were probably the same bastards who took one of our sheep last night. You had terrific luck. Most people don't get away alive. Those bandits won't trouble you anymore. Why? Are they dead? They picked a fight with the wrong guy. Thank Inos. Here, it isn't much, but I want you to have it. I'll tell the others about this. I, got, I think I got three bottles of wine. I'm on my way to town. The way you look, you'll have to bribe the guys to get in. And you have to know what they want to hear. And that would be? Well, for example, that you're from Lobart's farm and want to go to the smith in the city. But that won't do you any good. You don't look like a farmer. I see. I need better equipment. I can imagine. But I tell you right now, we don't have anything to give away. If you can pay for what you want, Lobart will sell you something. Otherwise, go to him and ask him if he has work for you. Where can I find Lobart? Well, on the farm, of course. The farm belongs to him. And don't try messing with him. He's thrashed a lot of tramps and thrown them off his farm. There's okay. another of those scummy beasts. One less monster around. Okay. Seems like a reasonable thing to do here. Go meet the owner of the farm. We do need the clothing from him. If we can do some quick jobs to get experience or money, that would be fine too. This position is the worst possible, where you don't have any learning points to spend. Even simple melee weapon upgrades will cost us quite a bit, and I think get to a non-rookie status in one-handed weaponry will probably require at least 10 point investment, probably if we closer to 15 even. So we are going to need another level up very likely. Why are you hanging around on my land? Whose side are you on? The rebelling farmers or the king? I don't understand. What? Don't mess with me, boy. I want to know where you stand. So who are you for? I'm for the peasants. Huh. That damned warmonger Onar will drag us all into the grave. What do you think? How long will the paladins just stand by? After what Onar has done, the whole city is in an uproar. Yeah, I need to know what the hell is going on. What's going on here anyway? Don't you know what's going on? Boy, where are you from? We're on the edge of a civil war. Up till now, all the farmers looked at the tribute to the city as fair taxation. But 
Since the Paladins have come to Corinnus, the city guards visit us more and more often. And little by little, they're taking everything. If it goes on like this, soon we won't have anything left for ourselves. Some farmers are starting to rebel. Onar was the first of them. Tell me more about this Onar. Onar is the biggest farmer here in the area. He is broken with the city. They say he's hired mercenaries to keep the city guard off his back. Can't blame him. In any case, no royal soldier dares to set foot on his farm anymore. So basically, side with the city, side with the farmers. I'm not sure how the mages play into this. Who are those mercenaries that Unar hired? I don't know much about the guys. Supposedly, a lot of them are former prisoners from the mining colony. Everybody knows what you can expect from them. Good fighters. What about you? Whose side are you on? Peasants or king? Now, I'm too close to the city to really have a choice. But I'm glad about that. I wouldn't know how to decide. The king is bleeding us dry. And Onar sets his mercenaries on anyone who won't join him. And that's why most of the other farmers are still undecided. But sooner or later, they'll have to choose one side or the other. Why the hell were you bitching to me about not choosing a side? <sighs> I need some sensible clothes. I can give you clean farmer's work clothes. Can you pay for them then? Well, you could work off a part of the price someone who is looking for work seems reasonable I'm looking for work I can't use another farm hand but I could offer some work to a day laborer well what I mean is you can lend a hand in the field and there are certainly a few other things to do around here I could pay you with gold or give you a few decent things to wear the things are worth a fair bit I can't give them to you for nothing but I can sell them to you cheap if you work for me by the looks of you, I should say, take the clothes. Anyway, the small turnip field next to the barn needs to be harvested. All right. Then hurry it up a bit before I change my mind. Have you got anything else for me to do? First get the turnips in from the field. Then we'll see. Yeah, from demon slaying to turnip farming. But it's uh, not exactly like the game uh, forces you to do it, so... We're in a very bad position, so it wouldn't hurt us if to get, get a few allies. And certainly, I don't want to appear to be a bandit if I have to go face the city guard. I'm in new condition to put up a fight, and I, even if I could, it probably hurt our interest quite severely if we start fighting with the city openly. No, oh, it wasn't too, too hard. Never knew picking tournaments was this easy. Just point and click. Here are your turnips. Hey, you're not all that worthless after all. Take him to my wife in the house and tell her to cook him. What about my pay? Well, I can give you five gold pieces or sell you the clothes cheaper. Well, what's it to be? I'll take the cheaper clothes. <laughs> Make me a better price for the togs. Good. I'll give them to you for ten gold pieces less. How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. You've worked the field for me. Malith said you chased the bandits off. The bastards have caused us a lot of trouble. Thanks to you, we're rid of them. Fifty gold pieces. 
So weapon protection 15, arrow protection 15. Um. Let's do more work first. Well, that's still too expensive. Well, suit yourself. Have you got anything else for me to do? I don't. But you can ask my wife or the boys on the feet. We'll buy the gloves later anyway. Hmm. Let's meet the wife. Sorry for dropping blood all over your house though. Hold up. Hey, you! I've got a few turnips here for you. Great. That should be enough to fatten those guys up. Since you're here anyway, I saw a traveling trader pass by here a few minutes ago. I think he stopped on his way to town. Go to him and see whether he's got a decent frying pan for me. Give me the gold, and I'll go see the merchant for you. Are you saying I can trust you? Just don't spend the money on booze, do you hear? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of blood. It's uh, maybe a too much, too much blood dropping all over the place. Okay, what? Uh, some kind of uh, in the sink. Where exactly is the traveler supposed to be? You guys work in the fields. We probably could use the rest here ourselves. to pay our contribution to the city. If we don't, we'll end up having trouble with the paladins. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's probably the traitor then. And how goes the work? Uh, same as always. Lot to do, not enough money, and with a bit of bad luck, the orcs will come tomorrow and burn down our farm. Another King's paladins have occupied the whole city, but I can hardly believe they'll move their butts out here when the orcs attack us. One less monster around. Is there any interesting news? I could have sworn I saw an orc over there on the edge of the woods two days ago. Since then, I've kept at least one eye open at night. I'm headed for town. And? Is there anything interesting you can tell me about the city? Nope. But Maleth goes to the city from time to time. Maybe he knows something. I mean, something that would interest you. Can I help you? I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about working in the fields? What is there to know? Ah, in that case, I think we're fine here. Thank you. If you <laughs> want to work for Lobart as a day laborer, I can only warn you, he pays people like you really miserable. He offered to sell me some clean clothes cheap if I helped out on the farm. Hmm. Well, I don't have anything for you to do, but you can bring me and the boys something to drink. Fetch me a bottle of wine, and I'll tell Lobart you were a real help to us. <laughs> yep. Take your wine. Here's your wine. Uh, I'd better not ask where you got it from, huh? <laughs> Oh, who cares? Uh, thanks, anyway. Lobart will only hear the best about you. No. Yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> Do you know anything about working in, uh, working in the fields? 
Uh, what is there to know? Yeah, I think we'll be okay without your help. Uh, your goddamn son. Shining in my eyes. Who do we have here? You're on your way to the city. Am I not right? Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> you look like a fugitive. All fugitives are headed for the city. You could even be a former convict for the mining colony. I don't care where you come from, but I believe I have an interesting offer for you. What do you have to offer? The way you look, the guards will never let you into the city. I can help you get into the city. I have here a small piece of paper with the royal seal and the governor's signature. A pass. With this scrap of paper in your pocket, you can run about as raggedly as you please, and the guards will leave you alone. Interested? How will you get into town? The guards know me. I will simply tell them that I have lost my pass. There must be a catch to this. No, no catch. You will merely owe me a favor. What do you want for your pass? I knew you were the right man. Listen, you will get the pass from me, now. Just like that? Just so. But if I meet you in the city, you owe me a favor. Do we have a deal? Uh. Sure, give me that paper. Here, be careful with that. It is very valuable. Uh, one more thing. Don't even think about breaking your word. As a merchant, I have a great deal of influence in the city. Uh, it wouldn't go well for you. Believe me. Show me your wares. Take your pick. Okay, frying pan. A saw. Wine. Long sword. Strange required. 85. Damage 85 too. Um, so that's pirate cutlass turns. I'm a little spiritual power. Uh, actually, I like this. I mean, th these are clearly weapons we can use for uh, quite a long time. At least a lot of them. But that's a good thing. A very good thing indeed. Because now. It there might be some limitations of what you can get how the, when the story progresses how exactly do you wish to deal? no idea uh, I guess we already did the deal value 3 I've got to go. Suit yourself. I picked that up. Yeah, I, I need to do learn skills and uh, how to sell an entire stack of items at once. Things to find out. Ah, not here. Hey! Here's your frying pan. Fine. Let's see then whether it's any good. Can you give me something to eat? Here, take this. You're a good lad. Yeah, I don't like the tone of her, how she says that. What do we get? Can I use the stove? No, she's using it. It's in use. We have a couple of raw pieces of meat. Okay, out of the way. A couple of uh, extra jobs done. We are still here, so halfway pretty much to level 2. So, not exactly all the lucrative, but so. Uh, Little things. Hey, you! Have you got anything else for me to do? I don't. But you can ask my wife or the boys in the fields. Maybe they need some help. 
How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. You've worked the field for me. You helped my wife. Vino says you were real help to him. And that's saying something. He doesn't usually hold with day laborers. Malith said you chased the bandits off. The bastards have caused us a lot of trouble. Thanks to you, we're rid of them. 30 gold pieces. It's uh, not going to get any cheaper. Yeah, I'm not taking it. Give me the work clothes then. There's a chest in my house where you'll find clean things. But don't even think about taking anything else without asking. I think we're going to be resting here too. It's basically new armor, full health. Sounds good to me. Apple, cheese, gold, armor's clothing one. Yep, about value of 80 and we got it for 30 gold. Yeah, we look half respectable. Ooh, you can slalom in this game. Excellent. Ah. And I think we're done. Its blood is, seems to be staying here quite a bit. So there's the city. Shouldn't be any problem reaching it at this point. And we have a pass. We have a resp respectable looking clothes. I still don't particularly want to pay anything to get inside, so we can find some way to get around that, that would be great. Hopefully the pass will do it. But, on the other hand... Let's spell scroll. Mm -hmm. We could take a look around. Not sure if it's a sensible thing to try to find these things. Some looting skills before we can Nothing take body there. parts. Fine, fine. Still didn't to go too badly. Looks like a guard type of a character. Psst. Hey, you, come here. What is it? On your way to the city, and really busy too. Listen. You look like a smart guy to me. I bet you'll go far in life. You're certainly nobody's fool. I could see that right away. Say, you'd probably like to earn a few gold coins, wouldn't you? Arr, pirate mate. Are you hiding from someone? Of course not. What nonsense. I just enjoy standing among the trees so the wind won't blow right into my face. What about you now? Do you want the job? Okay, it's me. Why not? You'll have to forgive an ignorant old seaman. I'm a stranger in these parts and I don't really know all the rules. So I had to find out the hard way that traveling strangers aren't welcome in the harbor city. Now I'm standing here with no idea how I'm supposed to get into the city. 
I have some extremely important business to conduct, and my client won't tolerate a delay, you see. You'll help me find a way to get past the city guard, won't you? Sure, why not? Why not help the pirates to get into this harbor city? <laughs> what possible harm would there be? Another one of those bugs. This city is properly massive. I wonder if we could get in other in another way. I'm pretty sure we can. We must be able to. Ooh, dinosaurs. Who doesn't want to go there, though? It took quite a long time for uh, us to be able to beat those cousin enemies in Gothic 1. Um, I'm betting that they aren't going to be easy here either. I love the mode in this city. Like a totally pointless ditch and nothing else. Yeah, that's not what the mode is. It's not why it exists. Basically the difference here is, when we got a critical hit, it's basically instant death for these type of monsters. When we got normal hits, it uh, does almost nothing. So, if you want to be a melee weapon user, skill is pretty much everything. You have to get those critical hits, otherwise yeah, it just isn't gonna work out. Silver ring. This isn't exactly where we want to be to get up. There could be a passage in the moat too, I suppose. I wouldn't realize how to look from there first.
Hey, hey, not so fast. Strolling about alone out here is dangerous. Where do you come from? The farm. From one of the farms. A farmer, eh? Hmm. Then you shouldn't be walking along these dangerous paths all by yourself. Who knows who might be lying in wait for you? What's so dangerous out here? Many things. For one thing, there's the bandits. They'd polish off a little wimp like you for breakfast. If the bandits don't catch you, then the wild animals in the forest or the mercenaries roaming around will take care of you. So first get yourself some decent armor before you go out. I bet you'll be yelling for my help after the next bend in the road. Back to okay to the lighthouse and to the tavern. Fair enough. The enemies look like things we could take out. I still want to make a full round. Halt. Yes. You look like a poor beggar. In this town, we have no use for people without money. But I've got a pass. That one's only good for the other gate. Why, why would it be so, so specific? <sighs> okay. It's the lowest I've seen the wall. We still... Ooh. Okay, it's uh... The only reason I probably can't jump there is because it's slightly tilted. Lots of rats. Hmm. We have healing herbs. I don't intend to fight these guys. They might not make me go. No rats. Yeah, that didn't go well. Again, very close to the edge here. Very close. And this is a uh, strange edge here. Still not quite. Uh, I doubt. Maybe you. It's very likely that you can't do it. But. We're just stuck here now. Did I use the tree? Yeah, I can't see shit. In theory, uh, this would be probably uh, the best place to try to get there if you could. I don't think you can. Plus, you can uh, grab the edge there. It's even higher than the normal edge. There is uh, the rock face there, though. Meaning, if you could get on the rock, you could go into the city that way. But we have the we have the pass anyway, so it's just a matter. Of, I, I just hate that we have to go back to the front before we can use it. What's the point, really, other than to annoy me? <sighs> so, I, so 
Ahnung von mir hat. Can't wait. Yeah, this doesn't go anywhere really. Swamp weed. So weed is back. That's good to know. I think the wolf is following me. Maybe it gave up. <sighs> anyway, I, I don't think we're in any kind of danger, or any real danger. There might be a way to get inside without a pass, but also probably require you to properly go through the entire entire city and explore probably those places instead of just uh, hugging the hugging the wall. Wall that you can basically just jump over isn't exactly look useful. There could be a passage, definitely. I, I can see that. Some kind of a like a sewage entrance or something like that. But again, since we already have the permission to go inside, it seems like a waste of time trying to figure out one. That might be. It's definitely lower than the rest. Ooh. Bigger meat. Be a decent healing mushroom. Wait, wait, wait. This is fairly low. It certainly should be something I can reach. But, uh, yep, it's more about the game's point you to a lot, just jump over the pool. Uh, I find the jumping system was actually better in Goth 1, because you could see immediately, do the preparation, can you jump or not, here you have to jump. It's more convenient, uh, since it's less button presses, but... Uh, Hal, are you one of the hands on Lobart's farm? I never seen you here. I haven't been with Lobart for long. What you want in the city? I want to see the blacksmith to have some tools repaired. Okay, fine. In you go then. And if you see Lobart, you can tell him he should feed his sheep well. We're coming back to him shortly. <laughs> Okay. Yes, mission accomplished for now. <laughs>